Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mari server. I'm here to do a video on the new Harvest Festival uh, event. Um, basically what this event is, you're gonna grab a bunch of uh, stuff that, I guess it's uh, ingredients? Mm, dishes? Yeah, something like that. For Kevin Joe. Um, the quest should be in your events list. And it actually has a pretty nice picture. It's like so freaking big. Um, but basically, uh, there's uh, several things you have to get for Caravan Joe, and one of them right now, I'm just kind of like waiting, is the turkey. Yes, turkey. Um, I kind of already have some already, just stocked up. Um, they're called Roasted Festival Turkeys, so no, they're not the same turkey that drop from, you know, random mobs. You actually have to get them from a specific turkey. Uh, and luckily for me, I was just like killing things outside of uh, Dunbarton earlier and I got a former command scroll stating that they're going to spawn west today at dawn in Dunbarton. So the west location is oh, right here. And as you can see, they just spawned. Woohoo! Hello, roaming turkeys! And they look like cooked turkeys with little thingies on their head. It's kind of creepy, you know, because they look like they're suffocating under there. Oh, uh, put you out of your misery! But, um,. Basically, you just kill these things and they're gonna drop um, this turkey, or they have a chance of dropping roasted festival turkey. Uh, and that's one of the ingredients you need to cook with. Yeah. Um, for newbies out there, they're a little bit probably harder to kill. I mean, like, I, I kind of kill them with one punch, but other players might take a few hits. Just letting you guys know. But they're pretty easy to kill. Drops can't say that they're common. Uh, I wouldn't say there's any point to stacking a bunch of these because you can't even stack them and that's a lot of space to kill. You can't put them in pets either. So just eh, FYI. So I'm gonna leave these uh, turkeys here for those who actually need it. I'm not gonna kill them because that's not that jerk move. Um, the other ingredient that you will need is milk. I don't know why, but apparently you put milk with a turkey. Um, and you can gather milk outside of Dunbarton cows, or wherever you're at, E-Main, doesn't matter. Wherever there's a, uh, whatchamacallit, whatever uh, there are cows, you can just get milk from them. And the bottle comes from Walter, of course. <clears throat> The third ingredient you also need is uh, garlic. Um, that one you can just buy from Glennis. Or is that her? Yeah, that old lady over there. <clears throat> and you do need to know how to bake. I know that's the only unfortunate thing. If you're... Uh, if you don't have any cooking skills, I guess, ranked up. So here it goes. I'm going to throw in a turkey right here. I'm going to throw in the, um, the milk. And then the garlic. And the recipe is, uh, I think it was like 55%. Mm, let me double check because I actually don't know the exact recipe. Woohoo! I know it's 55% turkey. <clears throat> yes, 55% turkey, 35% milk, 10% garlic. I don't really like care too much about percentages. I pretty much just keep in mind that they're in one spot. Uh, the line is at one spot and it is at the D. So I kind of stop right after the first D. If you can see the line right here. And the second one, I kind of stop after the next D. Ish. Yeah, roughly. Roughly. And that's the rest. And here we go. Baking some marvelous milk, garlic, turkey. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be like the most perfect dish in the world. As long as you make it. Uh, apparently the dish expires in 30 days. Um, you can eat it, but you know, like the purpose of it is for the event. So I would hold on to it. Uh, hold on to it. And as you can see, I got some EXP for that, just making it. Um, it's right over, doo -doo 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 -doo, where is it? Right here. Bring one festival turkey dish. Four, 40,000 EXP. The next one is three petite potatoes. Now I already, I already uh, gathered some just because I knew this thing was going to take a while. Didn't want to like bore you guys with some potato gathering, but 
I'll show you at least one more potato I need to grab. <clears throat> For those that uh, didn't check out my uh, fairy video on the new pet fairy, um, just know that she gives you guys a gathering percentage uh, increase. So that's actually a good thing for you guys. So I'm gonna gather some like it's not that fast if you if you see it's like oh barely noticeable. Woohoo! Turkey. Oh uh, I mean potato, I wanna say. Um the best choice in this case I would choose is to use a uh, ooh, partner right there. And harvest all Get that buff going. Or if you have like those gathering potion or speed potions, those work too. But I use my partner just because she double gathers because of the um high oh, that's not a potato? What what was it then? Um she has a uh, double gathering. So this actually can take a while. I feel that the rate of finding the quote unquote petite potato is like finding a giant potato. The rarity of it, it's kind of meh. Actually, I just found one. Woohoo! Woo! That was lucky. Okay. <laughs> Next one I need to grab. Oh, um, before I forget, the petite potato, you need three of them. It says right here, three. And that's done, because I got some earlier. The next one is four double yolk egg. The double yolk egg, they come from the hens. Uh, any hens, actually. Oops, I desummoned by accident. Oh well. I only need one more because I have four. And if you can see, uh, in comparison to the regular eggs, these eggs and potatoes do not stack. So, uh, just make sure you guys have inventory room. Come on, give me, give me double yolk egg, please. Ooh, will that work? Okay. You're awesome, hen. You're the best. Okay. So now I got four. Um, that was really fast just because I gathered some earlier in advance to make this video. Um, and now that I have four of these and three of the potatoes, um, I can get the next item, which is, doo -doo -doo. let's see, petite potatoes checked, double yolk eggs checked, turkey dish checked, next one is bring a one festival table, table, and to make the table, you need to have five pieces of firewood, you could chop it from any tree, or most trees. And you also need um, uh, da, 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 paint, red paint. Now I haven't used actual red paint that you can craft from uh, her bloody herbs and stuff like that. But apparently you can buy paint from Walter under the event tab. I think this is the only paint you should be using, but I don't know. I haven't tried it with the other paint. Um, next item is to get 10 large nails. And this you can easily grab by like punching posts and stuff throughout maybe. Oh, there goes one. So now I have 10 because I gathered 9 earlier just to like save you guys some time. Doo -doo. And then after that, you will have to handicraft it. Alright, where's my handicraft kit? There it is. And I'm gonna. Use my handicraft skill, and it's all the way in the wee bottom festival table. Looks actually, well, looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm just gonna click add materials. That's the fastest way to throw them all in there. And then 99% rate at a rank A uh, skill level. Pr press start, and then there it goes. Gonna make my table. All right, table made. So now I have all f uh, all the ingredients. The table, the eggs, the potato, and the turkey. And all I gotta do is go all the way over here to uh, Brother Caravan. I mean, there's a Caravan Joe over there for the other event, but there's another one right over here, if you guys didn't notice. And what he's wearing is pretty much like one of the outfits, I think, that you can get from this event. Uh, the hat that I'm wearing is actually one of the outfits you can get from the event as well. Uh, they're called traditional Pato tribal hats. And they're also like Korean outfits as well. Um, Korean traditional outfits, which I, that's what he's wearing. You can't tell. I think it is. <gasps> he's wearing my colors! I just noticed. Okay. So anyways, 
I'm gonna turn this into Caravan Joe. Thank you very much. And that's that. That's basically the event. It's a daily event, and when you complete it, you're gonna get a boxers. Bo not boxers, actually, but a box. <laughs> Participation commemoration box, to be exact. Looks like a turkey harvesty kind of thing. Eh. And then when you open it, you get a chance of getting. Uh, let's see. You get a chance of getting homestead seeds. Um, an out a part of an outfit set like this hat that I'm wearing. Um, what else? Uh, oh, right. These like little mochi balls. Uh, that expire actually, which is weird. It's like why? What's the point of them expiring? But yeah, you get one of these. You can, you can get one of these too, um, but you'll always be guaranteed a single seedling each day. And what the seedling does is that if you have 20 of them, you can get a uh, special uh, hat that changes um, depending on your age. Uh, you're probably going to have to look at uh, the Mabby front page on the event to see the hat because I don't have it all, of course because you know you need to actually do this event 20 days so keep in mind you have to do this event 20 days just to get that hat and if you miss a day that's gonna be pretty rough because I think this event is only for like a month long so you can't miss too many days actually um, you can only do this event once a day I think because the quest doesn't show up again and also, um, just to keep you guys informed, if you're thinking about hoarding potatoes and the eggs in advance for the next day, don't. Because when you relog to get your quest again, those eggs and potatoes are going to disappear. They're going to poof. So there's no point in hoarding slash stocking up on ingredients for the next day. Except for the turkeys. The turkeys will always stay. Um, all the other ones will disappear for some reason. So yeah, that is basically the event, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I hope it also helps. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will answer them. Alright, alright. I don't know about how you guys feel about that hat, though. I mean, like, this, this, oh, this hat is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's awesome, awesome beads. Awesome hats. Woo! Okay, I'm done with this event. It was pretty quick. It seemed pretty quick, but it actually takes a while to do. Oh, one more thing, guys, before I forget. Uh, if you guys do plan to do the egg gathering and potato gathering and all that stuff, just remember, you guys also get a daily quest, um, which can be either egg gathering or potato gathering, and, you know, might as well do that while you're doing that, because you're going to gather quite a bit of eggs and quite a bit of uh, potatoes. So might as well try to get the um, daily quest to gathering eggs slash potatoes. Alright. Alright. Just a little tip, sirs. Yeah.